I think I'll, uh, I think I'll work this side of the room, because... Well, what did you guys do to get parked over here? You, you ever see this many country and western butts in one night? Well, I thought you might want to know what a Nikon looks like. They're old, aren't they? So maybe you wouldn't want to be one. I, I want to share this with my wife, Miss Dixie. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Miss, Miss Dixie and I met at this very dinner, as was mentioned before, about, uh, well, 45 years ago. So this would be, tonight would be the second luckiest night of my life. My, my old friend Ralph Emery is here tonight, and we're always talking about the bucket list, and Ralph, I got mine first here. That's one of our favorite movies. I want to thank some people here tonight, and I don't want to waste any more of your time. I feel like I'm surprised you're still here after listening to all those of my songs. But I've got a, I brought my posse with me. And my posse, I don't know if that's a word or not, but it is now. It, Pass that around. Uh, you know, there's a great poem by one of the greatest, great English poets by the name of uh, John Donne, and it's called No Man is an Island. And that's one of my all-time favorite poems, and I'm sure you've read it. Ernest Hemingway used the last line of the poem to write a book called For Whom the Bell Told. So, uh, and it's a very important point to me because I have never assumed that I was anybody. In fact, I had heard about this Icon Award and I didn't know much about it, but I thought it was for, you know, special people and uh, didn't think much more about it other than that. And I got a phone call from Dell about six weeks ago and found out that I was somebody special which is happening. Well, now the last time I got an accolade at one of these music business things, someone reviewed the event and said that I had thanked everyone but my dogs. So I would like to rectify that terrible mistake I made and thank my dog. <laughs> Hal. Hal and Banjo, we have two wonderful dogs. I have a 5,000, well, we share the dog, but my dog is a boy dog, and he's a $5,000 dog. I live out in Williamson County on a farm in a totally different culture from many of you. And this is, this is the way we do business out there. I have this $5,000 dog, and I traded two $2,500 chickens for him. And the, all the guys at the co-op are gonna find out Sometime this week, my buddies that I hang out with where I buy my feed and stuff for the farm, they are going to find out that I'm an icon, and they're going to immediately assume that I am also a gay communist. <laughs> it, it, I mean...
I want to leave you all with a little bit of advice. I don't like to give advice because people your age and with your money don't listen to it. <laughs> but you can, you can tell your neighbors or your kids. You never tell your dogs. I never in my entire career hired anybody to work for me. I hired people to work with me. And you might, you might find this remarkable, but I never fired anybody. In my whole career, I never fired anybody. I would come in one morning and I said, where's Sam? And the other people who worked for me would say, we fired him. <laughs> and I'd say, well, you, you better get together and get somebody else because we got to do this, you know. <laughs> I've had a good life and I have great friends and great family. I love you guys. I'm, I know you're having a good time. I'm sorry I took so much of your time, but I had to say these things. And I love these people. Have a good life. Thank you.